head to the beach apartment. Uh, early morning train. Pretty cool looking train. See what I mean? I love the colors. So I'm on the TJ Bay now. I transferred from uh, the regional in Valence. And I'm pleasantly surprised that I forgot I'd booked it at first class, which was, I don't know, an extra $10, something cheap. So I've made it to the Toulouse train station. And uh, I'm going to Bayonne. And as you can see, my train has not yet had a platform assigned. <laughs> a nice size train station. It's quite long. It's the requisite piano playing. Nice thing about France is you actually have a lot of people who know how to play the piano. Got Mickey D's over here. And Starbucks over here. And let's, let's take a look outside. In Toulouse. Kind of pretty. Ah, it kind of looks like Bordeaux. But this is not where we are going to end up or even spend any time at. Oh yay, we just got assigned our platform. So I'm now in an inner city train and uh, it's going to be <laughs> no longer the TJB high speed rail. So this should um, take a while to go a little, to go not so far. It's about uh, just shy of uh, three hours on this train. Wow, this thing is designated as just a SNCF Intercities train, not TGV, which is the high speed rail, but it seemed pretty high speed to me. It must be going. <laughs> I feel like we're going about 100 miles an hour at least. Sure enough, I just clocked us on GPS going 155 kilometers an hour which works out to about 96 or 97 miles per hour. Not bad for a little inner cities train. It's the Pyrenees off in the distance. Maybe Pico Eneco? I don't know. Highest point in the Pyrenees? I don't think so. Anyway, if it is Pico Eneco, it's 3,400 meters high. 3,400 meters high. Highest point in the Pyrenees. Yeah, that wasn't Pico and that though. There's some stuff in that gap that are even better candidates. <laughs> Turns out the mountain I was looking at is called Peak du Midi de Bigorre. And it has an observation platform and a planetarium. I don't know if that's the right word. 
an observatory up there and there's a tram that can, you can take up to go to the top. It's 2,800, actually just shy of 2,900 meters high. And this is what the lowland countryside looks like near the Pyrenees. It's an interesting scene. Just another train stop along the way. Well, I have arrived in Bayonne. You know, cool thing. And this is what we are greeted with. Come out of the train station. That's the uh, train station itself. So I found the car. It's like brand spanking new. It's the top of a parking garage. It was a little, a uh, couple of little panic moments, moments there where my app just <laughs> logged me off and I didn't remember my password or I didn't think I did. And then uh, finding the car in a, the top floor of the parking garage was a little odd. Look at those cool buildings over there. Anyway, um, yeah, so super, super nice looking, looks brand new. Hope it starts up and runs nice and has a full tank of gas. We'll be set to go. Here I am in Bayonne, in case I didn't mention it before. Oh, look at that church over there. Wow. Yeah, all right. Surf check Osagar. Looks smallish fun. See if this so that would be Osagor Nord. Check this out on the city's car. On one side, it's written in French, and on the other side. Get another language, Basque. Check that out, isn't that cool? So in our first visit to Osagar, what's that symbol? I've never noticed that before. Um, in our first visit to Osagar, we stayed on the, uh, in these condos to the left, or these apartments, I should say. And uh, yeah. I shouldn't say just our first visit to Oscar. It was our first visit to this coast. And we had a great time. Did a little bit of surfing. It was in April, no, October, I think. October, jeez, uh, two years ago? Now we are heading to our residence secondaire. North of Osegar. Nice country drive. 